Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Flux. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful rope in Fusion 360. Basically, this only consists of one command called Swift. So this is basically a trick for the Swift command, which with which you can wrap a profile around any object you want. So basically, uh, I will start teach, uh, telling you by the simple one. Then I will move on to this rope-like structure. So for that let's make a profile around which we are going to make a swift so let's simply make a ellipse and finish the sketch now i'm going to create a plane along this spline and on this plane i'm going to say draw a rectangle a center point rectangle would be okay and you may just finish the sketch now if i just create on swift First of all, select the profile and select the path. Now it's a normal swipe, right? So here the first thing is taper angle. So what happened? Let me just give it a taper angle of 10. So as you guys can see, taper angle will enlarge as the profile moves across the path. So this is a simpler one, right? So let's make it zero. Now the tricky, the, the in most interesting part of the swipe is the twist angle. How? And the twist angle defined at how by how many angle your profile will twist as it moves across your path so for for all 1360 degrees it completes one revolution so let me just click on 160 degree so as you guys can see my rectangle as it moves across this path got twisted by 360 degrees now let's try making it as 2000 degrees so wait for your system to respond and this is how your profile will look like. So the more the angle, the more the twist will be in Fusion 360. So what I did here is I have drawn a line as you guys can see here. I have created a, a path. Then I have uh, created a plane on that path like, like I just did here. Then for the profile i have drawn uh, these uh, uh, one circle then i have used the circular pattern to make it circular pattern of like one two three four five six seven i think this eight yeah eight or nine i don't know i just count it so the the trick is just make sure that these circles don't get connected with each other so if if they get connected you will have to uh, uh, differentiate them so uh, as they were not get connected so I made individual component for that let me just show you how did how actually I did that so just create a profile like this a short one would be enough and click plane along path drag it to the first point and from this very first point let's draw a circle uh, the diagonal could be anyone and just go to circular pattern select on this profile object would be this circle the center point this time just for example i'm going to make the quantity three so it will take less processing of my system as my system got hanged for approximately like 10 minutes when i was giving the angle for this rope the angle i gave for this whole rope was 8000 degrees so that took my system approximately 8 to 10 minutes to process so let's go to create go to swift now you guys can choose uh, by single also but i'm going to make this in one piece so select all this profile and the path and if i just press ok you will see that it's a simple profile now let me just bring back the history now i'm going to make it twist by let's say 400 degrees now wait for your system to respond so this is how it will look like when twisted by 400 degrees let's make it 5000 degrees for now 5000 now once uh, at 5000 this coil would look like this now if you are satisfied with the revolution you may select as new body remember uh, the remember what when I told you that you don't have to join this circle by drawing the sketch 
so that that would result in creating three as the these all these three bodies are not connected so you will get three entire three bodies so just right click on it and create component and fusion 360 will assign different automatically assign different color to each body for that don't forget to press shift and n to toggle between the color assemblies so for for the for this purpose i have drawn nine circles and the revolution angle was seven thousand degrees so this all will depend on your uh, requirement the longer the path the longer the higher the angle would be to make your uh, rope looks more realistic so hope you guys will enjoy the video do share and subscribe my channel for continuous updates on fusion 360 thank you and have a nice day